بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر سجاد لیکچر فزیولوجی ڈپارٹمنٹ ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ بلڈ کلاٹنگ ٹائم سو وٹ از کلاٹنگ ٹائم کلاٹنگ ٹائم از دا ٹائم ریکوائرڈ فار اے سیمپل آف بلڈ ٹو کوگولیٹ ان ویٹرو انڈر دا اسٹینڈرڈ کنڈیشنز اینڈ it measures all stages of intrinsic coagulation and this method is not very sensitive method and we have to avoid contamination with tissue, tissue fluid so what are the uh, methods uh, for uh, calculating the clotting time uh, there are various methods for determining the clot, uh, clotting time the most common uh, method is capillary tube method and uh, it is affected by uh, calcium ions levels and many other diseases and the normal value for clotting time is 2 to 8 minutes and other methods are venipuncture method and heparin retarded uh, blood coagulation time so let's discuss about capillary method uh, what are the principle of capillary tube method first of all we have to puncture the skin and blood is taken in a plain capillary tube uh, and the tube should be in horizontal uh, and uh, then we have to start the stopwatch and uh, first uh, and then uh, we have to note the formation of fibrin string uh, by breaking the capillary tube at regular intervals and the time taken uh, for the first appearance of fibrin string is noted and that is the uh, basically clotting time so uh, what we need for the capillary tube method uh, we need spirit swab uh, stopwatch plasticine disposable lancet and capillary tube uh, the uh, length of the capillary tube should be uh, 10 to 15 cm and the diameter should be uh, 1.5 uh, millimeter and we don't have to add any anticoagulant uh, in the capillary tube so uh, let's start the procedure first of all uh, you have to introduce yourself to your patient and then take a consent and uh, briefly guide uh, about the procedure to the patient and then uh, start the procedure uh, first of all you have to uh, clean the fingertip with alcohol swab and then uh, make a sharp incision of 3 mm uh, with the disposable lancet and discard the first blood of uh, first drop of the blood and then uh, hold the capillary tube horizontally dip it one end uh, in oozing of blood and allow the tube to fill by capillary action and then start the stopwatch keep the capillary tube in a closed fist uh, in order to keep it with the body temperature and uh, break a small piece of about 1 cm exactly after 1 minute and uh, determine Uh, the thread is uh, seen between the broken ends of the capillary tube or not and repeat this uh, this step after every 30 seconds until you see uh, a fibrin thread and if you see the fibrin thread stop the stopwatch and then note the time and uh, report that time here you can see how to fill the blood in a capillary tube So what are the disadvantages of this uh, capillary tube method? Uh, the capillary tube method is uh, insensitive and unreliable and the capillary blood is always contaminated with the tissue fluid. Uh, and what are the advantages of uh, capillary tube method? Uh, it can be performed uh, when we cannot obtain the venous blood. and the normal uh, clotting time is 2 to 8 minutes so we have to do uh, the following precautions uh, sterilization of the lancet 
and calculate the proper time and break the capillary tube very carefully so that fibrin thread is seen uh, and hold the capillary tube horizontally and there should be no bubble in the capillary tube uh, thank you so much everyone for your kind attention I hope you guys understand a little bit uh, about uh, clotting time uh, inshallah we will do it again uh, once you guys get back to the college uh, uh, thank you so much uh, once again uh, Allah Hafiz